Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. We have to, it starts with knowing what sin is, because sin has destroyed our communities. Sin is the reason why we have broken homes, single parent households. Why? Because we don't want to marry our women. We don't want to marry each other. It was a, a TikTok video a couple, maybe a few months ago, and a brother was interviewing some sisters, like, man, don't you want to get married? And the sister's like, hell no. I ain't trying to get married. I'm trying to turn up. But then they turn around and get pregnant, and then... Then what? Now, now there's a single. Uh, now she's a single parent now. But the Lord said, "Who's gonna turn up? I mean, who's gonna who's gonna rise up against the evildoers? Who's gonna keep God's commandments?" Listen for a minute, my brother. I want to deal with you some more. What's your name? AJ. AJ, my name is Ariel, bro. And you got any questions, first of all? You about to take off, but now that you heard this gospel, let me give you something right here. Let's go to Psalms 94 16. Because what you see right now is a nation lifting itself back up. What you see right now is men of God trying to come out here to wake our people up to change because the change starts up, up here. We think change is going and grabbing guns and knives and all that. The change starts with the mind. But now that you heard this word, God's going to ask you a question, AJ. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So this is the question. Who's going to rise up against, who's going to rise up against the evildoers? Don't you admit that there is evil going on in the world? Okay then, the Lord say, who's going to rise up? Read from the top. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me? Against the workers of inequity. So God's asking, with all the evil that's going on, with the child abductions, with our people on drug, drug abuse, drug use, alcoholism, gangs, whatever the case, the Lord's asking, who's going to rise up? You know what's going on. Well, the Lord's asking, who's going to rise up against the evil doing in this world? Who's going to stand up against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to stand up for what's right? Will you stand up, AJ? The Lord's asking you a question. You say what? But you gotta come out here and like the, like the officer said, we have to, it starts with knowing what sin is. Because sin has destroyed our communities. Sin is the reason why we have broken homes, single parent households. Why? Because we don't want to marry our women. We don't want to marry each other. It was a, a TikTok video a couple, maybe a few months ago, and a brother was interviewing some sisters like, man, don't you want to get married? And the sister's like, hell no. I ain't trying to get married. I'm trying to turn up. But then they turn around and get pregnant, and then, then what? Now, now there's a single. Uh, now she's a single parent now. But the Lord said, "Who's gonna turn up? I mean, who's gonna who's gonna rise up against the evildoers? Who's gonna keep God's commandments? Who's gonna come out here and preach God's commandments? You can't do it alone. That's why we out here. It's seven of us out here, but we need more work. We need more labors out here. Like Christ said, the labors are the work is plenty, but the labors are few. Believe it or not, Christ is coming back." What you see right now is not going to last forever. It's not going to change. It's not going to stand forever. America is not going to stand forever. America will be destroyed. Read it one more time. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of inequity? So the Lord is asking you a question, AJ. Are you going to stand up for God? Are you going to stand up for him? Let me show you the steps how to stand up for God. Go to Ezekiel 3.17. Because you can't do it alone. That's why the Lord said, gather together. Jesus Christ, the real Messiah, the black Messiah, he's, a, he's about bringing his people together. Because we're the only ones that's been separated. The white man, they, go to, they come together. The Asians, they come together. The Arabs, they come together. They especially come together to make money off us, like the officer mentioned. Let's, let's destroy these people. We might not agree on certain things, but we agree that we need to destroy the Israelites. We need to destroy the black and Hispanic man. And this is the result of that destruction you see. Liquor stores, gangs, Planned Parenthood. 
How come everywhere in the black Hispanic community you have a Planned Parenthood? Why are they trying to kill our babies? Why are they pushing abortion? Why are they pushing gay rights? Why are they pushing that stuff in our school, gender friendly? Trying to push homosexuality on your children. Matter of fact, I'm not sure, do you got children? Trying to, like the officer mentioned about little girls twerking, promoting that stuff. I know you're a father, I know you love your daughter. You wouldn't have your daughter out there twerking. And I'm sure you don't appreciate the schools preaching, teaching that homosexuality stuff. Because that's not what you're about. But who's going to stand up for these things? Who's going to stand up for what's, what's right? This is the step right here. Ezekiel 317, is that what I want? Come on. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Because it's one thing to know about it, but what you going to do about it? The Lord's saying what you going to do. You see the wrong, what you going to do? And you can't do it alone, AJ. Come on. Son of man, yeah. I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. To the house of who? Into the house of Israel. So we have to, we, the Lord command us to be a watchman. There's an old saying in the hood, snitches get stitches. We can't be like that. If there's something going on, we ought to say something about it. Because you got a daughter, right? What if something, I ain't trying to like say, for, for instance, she, she might go and miss it for a minute. Maybe she in the mall somewhere. You'll go crazy, right? And if someone saw your daughter, you'll want them to say, hey, okay, I see your daughter over there. I see the little girl. That's what a watchman does. They watch. That's what a watchman does. Read it from top. Son of man, uh -huh. I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. So we have to be watchmen towards our people. We have to be the one out here to stand up against the workers of iniquity. We have to be the ones out here to rise up against the evildoers. We have to be out there for our people. About our people. Because our people, number one, they, they say, what about the other races? What about our people? We the ones suffering. When we th think about black on black crime, we the ones suffering. We think about the drug abuse, we the ones suffering. Blacks and Hispanics, we the ones double in the games. We the ones. Therefore hear the word at my mouth uh -huh. and give the warning from me. So if you want to rise up against the workers of iniquity, we have to warn our people. Because the wages of sin is death. Destruction is coming to America. Christ is coming back. He ain't coming back for hugs and kisses. He's coming to destroy this place for the sins of the earth. And to deliver our people. To deliver our people. But we have to be a watchman. Hey, you can't do it alone. You need to join us, bro. Because you have a daughter. You have to live for her too. You have to teach her too. Read on, continue on, read from top. Son of man, uh -huh. I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. So I job out here is to give y'all warning for what's to come. Y'all job is to give y'all warning for what's to come. This is the God's word, come on. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. So the wicked is gonna surely die. Hold that, let's get second answer seven and 20. Because the wicked shall surely die. Are you guys the wicked shall surely die. Are y'all The wicked shall surely die. Read on. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter seven, verse twenty. For there will be many that perish in this life. There will be some. There will be many that perish in this life. There will be many that's gonna perish. Why is that? Why would there be a huge body count? Read. Because they despise. The laws of God. They do what? They despise the law of God. So we have to come back to God's laws. But guess what? The Bible said that many shall perish in this life. Because we hate God's laws. We hate God's word. We hate God's word. We hate God's word. Guess what? We read it in English. Read it again. Because there be many that perish in this life. Because they despise the laws of God that is set before them. They despise the word of God. So no matter if I'm speaking Chinese, I could be speaking in Arabic, they still gonna hate God's word. Bring it out. It doesn't matter who translate the Bible. I could read this in Chinese and Japanese, and they still gonna despise God's word. Bring it out. So we're gonna speak to you in God's word in English because our people speak English and Spanish. But nonetheless, our people hate God's word. Read from top. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of God. 
They despise God's laws. Our people rather be homosexuals. Our people rather abuse drugs. Our people rather steal, kill, and cheat. These are things that the God hates. But our people rather do these things because they don't want to keep the commandments. But nonetheless, we are commanded to be watchmen. We are commanded to warn you. If you don't repent, so-called black man, Hispanic man, Native American man, you will perish. Let's go back to Ezekiel 3 and 17. Because God said that it should be many and should perish. Guess what? I can read it in Chinese. It's going to say the same thing. I can read it in Hebrew. It's going to say the same thing. No matter what language you speak, our people still going to hate God's word. What we trying to say about people, read. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. So he made us a watchman to the nation of Israel. How? He made us a watchman. Why is that so important? Let's get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Why is it important for us to come out here and be watchmen to the nation of Israel? Why? Why? How did he pick y'all? Why? Why is it important for us to watch upon the nation of Israel? Why? Let's see what God says. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 7, verse 6. Start at uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Start there. Because we're commanded to be watchmen to the house of Israel. Who's God chosen people? I'm asking. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 1. Verse 1, Come on. these be the words that which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. So if you have ears, if you have ears, you understand that the, this Bible is only for the Israelites. That's right. It's only for the Israelites. It's only for the Israelites. Read on. Do not go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let's go there because we're commanded to be watchmen upon the house of Israel. And God said this word is written upon all Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Not the Israelis, but the Israelites. That's the irony in that, right? If you claim to be the people of God, how can you not acknowledge yourself based on what God called you? He called you an Israelite. But over there Israel, you want to call yourself Israelis. Wearing black suits. Showing all your dandruff. Wearing zig -zigs. But pretending to be the people of God. But you don't even acknowledge yourself as the people of God because you call yourself Israelites. But the Bible says it's written to the nation of Israel. Let's see why it's important. Back to my point of why we're commanded to be watchmen upon the house of Israel. Deuteronomy 7 6. There's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Who is the holy people? For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. What kind of people? A special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. No, equal to all people. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So that's why it's important for us to be watchmen upon the house of Israel because the Lord has chosen the Israelites. He said that we are above all people upon the face of the earth. What is the nation? The nation is family. The nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 